Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my latest purchase from Timberland, which is their Scar Ridge Parka. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll never miss out when I drop another video like this one. All right, so let's, let's get in close real quick. Uh, take a look at the jacket a little closer up and then I'll talk about all the features that Timberland's talking about with this model, okay? So overall, man, I really like this outer shell here. It doesn't feel as, like, maybe not as thick as the other one I had up here. It's got a real nice feel to it. Sorry about the dog hair. Uh, I have a bunch of dogs in my house right now. Uh, the new buck patch, I really like this, all right? You know, people advertise their brand everywhere. Uh, I really like this jacket, so I'm cool with that. Down here, I like the stitched cuffs, all right? If you look, it's just got a slight taper to it. I feel that's really going to help. Uh, when wearing the parka. I love these cuffs in here, okay? An added layer of protection from the elements, really great. Hey, look at the buttons. Stitched on really nice, stitched in place really nice. All right, awesome. And there you can see like kind of the sheen of the fabric. It's not shiny, but you can see the tightly woven fibers here, all right? So this is really nice as well. Durable zippers, uh, all right, got the Timberland brand on there, branding. Uh, like I said, man, these, I'm not even kidding. This is like my favorite feature, these hand pockets. I am stoked about this. Um, this one is a waterproof jacket. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Uh, but that's really solid. Let's spin it around. All right, we got the faux fur. All right, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I know, you know, unless I'm like Joe Namath, man, I'm not going to be out there with real fur on anything I own. This channel's about getting things on a budget, saving some money, all right? So yeah, overall, there it is right there, okay? So we'll talk about a few of the features on this. I'll put it on for the fit test, and then uh, I'll get you guys out of here. All right, so this jacket came with some really nice flashcards here, all right? You got a warmth indicator here. We'll get into that in just a moment. But let's run through these and talk about the jacket's features that I really enjoyed uh, seeing. So first things first, you know, Timberland really is about uh, a greener future, planting trees, serving the communities, all that stuff right here. Uh, they're striving to include recycled, organically grown, renewable materials, yada, yada, yada. We all know that. Uh, if you follow Timberland for a minute. All right, so right here, rebottle. I like the shape of this, like a water bottle. Uh, rebottle. This rebottle fabric contains 100% recycled plastic. Now, I don't know how much, if all of it is that, but I'm into that, okay? Any, any bit to save the environment and get rid of this plastic waste, I support warmest all right don't let cold rule your comfort yeah people i like to look good in the winter as well as be warm so it says it has the warmest rating level for all of timberland's products uh like i said based on that last park i had i believe it weather ready like it's not even raining it says all right this says it's waterproof but breathable fully sealed seams for heavy protection uh, I think this is really going to help, especially if you live in the Northeast where we get these wet winters these days. We don't get a ton of snow. It still gets cold, but we get a bunch of rain. Um, yeah, this is great. Windproof. All right. Windproof. All right. You know, up here we get cold winters, man. So it could be below zero with the wind chill. You want something that's going to protect you from that. It looks like they're saying that this jacket will. I'm excited about that. Faux fur, like I said, unless I'm Joe Namath on the sidelines of the NFL game, the Super Bowl or something like that, I'm not wearing real fur. I'm not at that level. And then there we go. We're back at the beginning. And that's that. Okay, time for the fit test, all right? I'm five foot eight. Currently, I think I'm weighing in at like 166. I weighed myself at the gym yesterday. This is a medium, okay? This is how it looks unzipped. As you can see, there's definitely a little bit of room in here. If I want to layer up, flannel shirt, hoodie. I've tried this on with a hoodie before. It definitely fits really well, but not too bulky. Okay. I think the other problem, um, if you buy too big of a jacket is it doesn't keep you as warm. You want this to stay a little closer to your body. All right. So now let's zip it up, button it up and take a look at how it fits. Also big difference to my other parka. And this one is the zipper on my other one came all the way down. So you kind of have this like wavy movement, right? With this, the zipper comes here and then it comes down to your button, all right? So we'll get this zipped up to where I'll probably be wearing it most of the time. All right, so I've got it buttoned all the way to the top. We're just like assuming extreme weather conditions here and how I'm gonna be wearing it on like the coldest days. And it feels really comfortable, all right? I don't feel 
I uh, like I'm getting poked in the neck. I don't feel like I'm getting strangled. You know, I got some ample room right here. I can get the hood up uh, without getting too mangled. And yeah, I think overall it's really good fit. The hood feels great. It doesn't feel like I'm closed in. Uh, it feels like this will keep me really warm, especially with the windproofing of this. But yeah, let's do the fit test, okay? Just got a pair of blue jeans on right down below. I like the black. Uh, I think it's a really great color. And let's just spin around, okay? Take a look. Honestly, I like how far up this comes. This is going to give me, it gives you an extra uh, element of protection from the wind. Seriously, all right? This is going to be nice right here. This fur comes off. If you want to remove it, I don't want to, but if you have to take it off for some reason, it does come unbuttoned. Uh, let's talk about the pockets real quick. My favorite feature, okay? The buttons right here. We have definitely have oversized pockets. As you can see here, I got decent sized hands. They fit right in with a ton of room. I don't feel crowded, all right? That's nice. Well, next, we got the side ones right here. These don't zip. On my older one, they did zip. Not a big deal to me. Uh, you know, good spot just for your hands like this. But let's get to it, man. I'm not kidding. You guys can laugh at me about how excited I am about these chest warmer pockets, whatever you want to call this. These button close, so you can definitely stick something in there besides your hands safely. Uh, you know, maybe like a wallet if you're traveling somewhere and you want to keep it close. Uh, safely but have access to it this would be a good spot because it folds over the top it buttons nothing's falling out no one's getting in but man on a cold day like waiting to pick up my kids at school standing outside walking around like anything like that this is great okay gives you quick access to your hands got them here um yeah i really really like this feature if you can't tell uh, but yeah all right, that's it. That's my review, my rundown. I was talking way too much, but I hope all the intel info that I gave all of you really helps you make an informed decision on whether or not to pick up the Timberland Scar Ridge Parka. If you're still confused as to what I think, I say pick it up, all right? It's an amazing jacket. You can find it on sale at the Timberland Outlets, on their website, in the mall, wherever you go to buy stuff, probably on Amazon. If I can find a link, I'll link it down below. You can check it out there. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone does really great in 2024. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. The more subs I get, the more content I can make, and we can do some awesome things together. Everyone take care out there. Be kind. I'll talk to you later. Peace.